Volleyball is a game of movement, agility, quickness. You know, you have to jump, you have to move in the air, you have to land, you're tracking the ball coming at you and form passing. So there's a lot of motor skills that I believe have to be developed, and you can't necessarily rely on the game itself to develop those skills. So this is a video where players just go through a sequence of, of drills that emphasize moving, posture, uh, a rhythm to the game. Uh, so they're very simple things, but I think it, uh, they're items that need to be addressed in the overall development of the athletic skills of the athlete. Here they're moving in a prescribed foot pattern, and they have to move in a rhythm with a clap. You know, so many volleyball players, for lack of a better term, they, they, they don't play the game with any tempo or rhythm. So we put them in a number of situations where they develop a rhythm to their body movements. Um, so in this situation, they have to move their feet, they have to go to the rhythm of the, of the clap, and it, it gets the athlete moving and, uh, and uh, you know, developing a rhythm to the game. Here they're jumping and doing 180s in the air. And again, I think uh, so much of the game is played with, with the feet off the ground, and the athlete has to be comfortable moving their body in the air. And uh, we, we also pay very close attention to how they land to make sure they're landing softly. Here's a very simple drill that's fun for the athletes, but you know, what are we doing? There's a strength component, so they're, in essence, they're doing push-ups here, but they're developing a sense of postures as well. They go from a high posture, drop to a low posture, then back up to a high posture. A little bit of a jumping component. You know, so again, we're, we're teaching them to move and get down, down low, play the game up high, they're moving in the air. So again, a fun drill that uh, I think to incorporates again, a lot of the game of volleyball. Here, you know, just some baby jumps, but the priority is getting them to coordinate their arms and their legs, so they're using their arms to jump, uh, which, you know, so many athletes, they, they don't do very well. Same type of thing, we want them using their arms, and they're just doing 90 degree turns in the air uh, to a rhythm. And again, I think this is a part of the game that as coaches we have to pay attention to and don't assume that the athlete can, can do naturally. You know, a major component of the game is the ability to run on a volleyball court. You, you run, the, run balls down like we are here, you run when you block, you run when you do hitting approaches. You know, so sometimes you practice running and it's all they're doing here now is, is running and catching a ball. Um, you know, this will progress to, as you see here, they're running and now they're playing the ball, which is a little bit more game related, where they're having to change postures and get down a little bit lower, but they're pursuing a ball. A very simple drill that you see here, again, it incorporates running, where they have to, you know, run and set. And, uh, you know, this is something they do a million times in a game. But from my observation, they don't do it well. They, they, they tend to reach and lunge, and, and we want them to work on, on just running and then having to perform a skill. Again, trying to work on postures here and playing the game in a lower posture. Um, they're shu strictly shuffle stepping, they're dropping their hips, the ball has to stay under the net. And a lot of these players are tall players, they're over six feet, but there's no reason that tall players shouldn't be able to play the game in a low posture. So all this is doing is developing a sense of posture and leg strength to get down in this posture. So one might say, well, this never happens in a game. It's not a game-related drill. But in essence, it is. In, in a game, you have to be able to shuffle and move your feet and play the game in a low posture. So this player is well over six foot tall, but she has to learn to play the game in a low posture because that's how the game is, is played. This is a simple drill where the, the, the athlete moves in a, you know, towards the cones in, um, uh, in a prescribed fashion, and she has to keep her, love, her head level. She only shuffle steps, and she getting, she's getting behind the ball and in form passing the ball. Now, this can come from a toss or it can come from an attack, but they're moving their feet and they're performing skills, and I think this is something that, uh, that we need to emphasize more. This is a posture drill going from low from a low posture to a high posture. There's a component of reaction in, in moving quickly as the tempo is pretty high. But the focus is, you know, the athlete being able to change postures, going from high to low. And, uh, you know, so many athletes, they play the game just in one posture. And I think you, you need to teach multiple postures. So much of the game is a ball's coming at you and you have to track it into your, you know, passing 
platform or, or setting. So this is a tracking drill. They have to, you know, just put their hands on the ball. It's, it's eye-hand coordination, which, again, sometimes we, we assume the athlete has, but we don't really practice it. You know, so this is a reaction and putting their hand on the ball where they have to move quickly and they have to react and they have to catch the ball. And a lot of athletes, especially volleyball players, they don't grow up playing other sports to develop these skills. They only play volleyball. And I think, uh, you know, much to their detriment, I think we have to develop these skills. This is just moving and catching the ball, either getting right behind it or lunging to it, as this athlete is here. Um, a posture drill, a leg strength drill, and a movement drill. Um, you know, a great warm-up where they have to move and get behind the ball. Um, and, and then, um, you know, obviously this transfers to, to the serve-receive component. Here is a, a very simple fun drill where the athlete has to track the ball to a different body part. So as the ball is coming at them, you call out a body part, left shoulder, right ankle, uh, right knee, and they have to move the ball, and then they catch it in the appropriate body part. So now they're developing their ability to track, it, track and move their body behind the ball. Uh, so again, I think this is kind of a, a precursor to actually moving their body and tracking the ball to where they want to be when they actually you know perform a forearm pass but it's uh you know it's developing the, the tracking skill and again something that can't be just assumed that the athlete is developing on their own so i think this is uh is something that the coach can emphasize in the course of practice this will evolve to a posture so now i'm tracking the ball and i want to drop and pass the ball in a low posture and let the ball come down um, again, working on changing postures, tracking, and dropping. You know, so much of serve-receive is done from a very high posture, and we want people to pass the ball in a low posture like this athlete is doing. So these are all just very simple movement drills and skills that I think good players develop as they're evolving. Um, but we can't assume as coaches that they're doing it just by playing the game. Sometimes I think we have to script it so they can develop these skills.